Machine is one of my favorite DAWs, not the most flexible when it comes to audio, but Vocodyne does work in it. First of all, let's go into the preferences and make sure we got the optimal audio settings for it. We need an ASIO device, <laughs> select your sound card, and select a suitable sample rate, either 44 or 48 kilohertz. If you want the best possible consonant detection, you need to set your buffer size of the sound card to somewhere in between 128 and 512 samples. I recommend 128. Also make sure the input that you got your microphone plugged into is active in your inputs. I'm going to use input 2, so we're good to go. I strongly recommend using a MIDI controller to control it for the best results, even though you can use it in auto-tune mode. But make sure you got your keyboard hooked up in here. You can also use the machine controller, of course. Now we're going to put Vocodyne on an empty pad. This will be the first instance on one of the pads. I'm going to go with VST3, Bless Beats, Vocodyne, bam. So this track is going to act as the MIDI track, but we also need to get some audio into it. But first off, let's lock the MIDI input on this channel. Hit channel, go over to input, press MIDI, select your MIDI device there, and channel 1. If you got multiple instances, pick another channel. We're going to get back to the output, but first let's route our microphone into another pad. On input here, an audio. Pick the input with your microphone on it. In my case, it's channel 2. And the output of this pad is going to go straight into Vocodyne instead of the group. So from here, we'll click Group and select Vocodyne. Now I want to make sure that Vocodyne is receiving the MIDI input, and it is, but the other pads are also receiving it if I've selected those. So the MIDI input on the mic channel is going to be none, just to be safe. Now to record on this track smoothly, I'm going to turn it into an audio track. And we can leave everything here as is, that is fine. I like it pretty in the video, so I'm going to rename this track to Microphone, just so we can keep track of it. And with the setup that we just made, we should be able to both play, live, and record both of these tracks. Yeah! So far, so good. Now, for recording it, head into the Sampling tab, switch the mode to Sync, the length to free, the input to your microphone input, external mono, and the channel your mic is on, and leave monitoring off. You don't want to hear your own voice at the same time. Or maybe you do, maybe you're a great singer. Now we're going to arm the regular recording and hit start and then press microphone. Oh yeah. Sounds like something was happening. Let's head back out of the sampling menu and see what we got. Yep. Microphone. Oh yeah. All good. A tip. Save a template. Save some time.